guys, for this video, I'm going to actually make the engine bay look a lot better. It's been bothering me for a couple days, so let me just show you what I'm talking about. Okay. As you can see, my header wrap is already white, and it turns out that header wrap actually loses its color if you don't paint it with the proper header wrap paint to conserve the color. So mine's white, and I don't like that. So I went out to AutoZone and actually bought high temperature silicone coating, and this is actually, it says right here, seals and protects exhaust wrap. Great for engine blocks, exhaust pipes, gas grills, any hot surface. And it's a black finish, so I'm actually going to paint my header wrap black again. And I'm going to paint this shroud here, the radiator cover, whatever it's called, shroud. And that's because it's a little bit dirty, and I don't know, it bothers me as well. Maybe that'll make it look a little bit better. So I'm going to do that today. I'm also going to change the oil on my mom's Pathfinder because it needs an oil change really bad. So I'm going to go do that as well. And that'll be it for this video, so I'm going to get started now. And I just noticed something, my uh, thermostat housing is actually leaking a little bit, so I gotta get that fixed. But uh, you know what, I'm not even gonna mask anything, I really don't care. I'm just gonna maneuver it in there. I might as well, ah, frick it, screw it. I feel like I'm too close, so let me just do a little bit, I guess. And to take off my intake is very easy. Well, my certain intake, of course, because it's just a whole bunch of piping and um, silicone hoses. All I have to do is take this single clamp, loosen it a little bit, and it should be it. And I don't love this intake. It's a crappy one that came with the car. I want a stock one, but I'll find one eventually. All right, there he goes. Now I have more access to this stuff. I should have really done it, but I wasn't aware that the paint actually changes. Like, I wasn't aware that it removes paint. I thought the exa exhaust wrap stays the same. Now I know though for next time, the next car. Well, that seems pretty good. Let me just clean up because I got a little bit on my engine damper and I don't want it to stay on there. There you go. Take it off before it dries. Alright, we're good. pretty good looks new again awesome and I got some over here but whatever nobody's gonna see it I just wanted to do that and I'm also gonna do the plate with the same paint there you go that's better but yeah that was really bothering me so I'm like screw it I'll just buy the damn silicone header wrap thing and paint it again because I don't like it white it looks better black For anyone that's curious about my panel, which it's uh, an Allen key here and then two tens, I believe. I'm not too sure. I think it was tens. Um, I actually got this custom made. Um, Jay's from Miatas and More made it for like 50 bucks. He got a metal cutting machine, uh, the water ones. I forgot what they're actually called. But he made it for me and he gave it to me for $50. Which, believe it or not, is actually a steal because these on eBay are 120 if I'm correct. They're pretty pricey depending on the brand, but I got this one for 50 bucks and it looks just the same as one of those and probably fits a lot better to be honest because he made this using his Miata. Yep, I was right, it's a 10. 
just remove the two tens that are hooked up to the bottom of the car. There's another one. And I'm actually taking it off because I'm going to go paint out my friend's house while I'm there. So, fuck it. My mom doesn't want me to change the oil here because she gets scared because the damn landowners or the owners of the apartment complex are some, they're pretty big assholes. So, I'm just taking it off and painting it over there. And, uh, screw it. I'm going to take my intake as well and paint it over there. Make it black. Everything black. I'm going with, like, a black and red theme if you can't tell by now. But the engine bay is blue. Somebody asked me why it's blue, and that's because the car actually used to be a Smurf Miata. But I bought it painted. Someone painted this car with spray cans, which is hard to believe because it looks pretty good for spray cans, to be honest. I guess whoever did it was pretty good at the paint. The hardtop is not spray painted. It's just the whole other, the rest of the body is. And um, it looks decent, I guess, for spray paint. The previous owner actually found him on Facebook. And he was telling me that how he has nice suspension set up and how well he treat you bull crap you did not treat this car any good this car was a piece of crap when i bought it i wanted to say that so bad but i didn't want to be rude so i didn't even say anything i was just like yeah yeah bro you did a good job no he didn't he didn't know anything about cars he was telling me how he treated it very well no but it's off it's just the two tens and the little allen key one but when you pull it, make sure not to, like, hit the radiator. I don't want you to break yours, if you do have one. There we go. And look how ugly it looks without it. And the whole purpose of this is supposedly it'll block all the air from being uh, wasted by going up. And um, not doing any cooling effect. So it blocks everything and it makes it hit the radiator. Supposedly, that's what it's supposed to do. It supposedly cools down the radiator by keeping all the wasted um, cold air from the outside from just flying off somewhere else so it supposedly hits the end of the radiator but who knows if it actually works that's all I really wanted and I'm gonna just put these here because I don't want to lose them and you know what screw it I'm actually gonna paint my intake so uh, where the hell did I leave my flathead it seems like I spent more time finding tools than actually working on anything. I already lost the damn flathead that I had. Alright guys, well after two years of looking, I actually found it. Just kidding, I found a different one. But, uh, my girlfriend actually watches my videos and she tells me all the time how she wants me to do a step-by-step -step on everything I do. But honestly, I feel like that's a waste of time because most of the stuff I do is common sense, you know? Anybody can do it, but I don't know if you guys actually want me to do like a step-by-step -step thing. I'm more of a, let me just put it on and then show you how it sounds kind of person. You know, I just want to put on the part, put a little bit of clips on me or my buddies, putting it on, and then show you the finished product and how it sounds and if I recommend it or not. That's more of the kind of videos I like making. Now, I'm not sure if you guys want to see step by step because she was like, you know, if people are go um, YouTubing, YouTubing this stuff, then it's probably because they can't do it themselves and they want a step by step guide. I'm like, true, makes sense. But yet again, this is simple stuff that most people can do. When I can't do it, I just go to my friend's house and let him do it because I don't want to struggle with it because I have no idea and I'm just going to end up fucking up the car. Well, here's the intake piping. And yes, I'm painting the valve cover and I'm going to paint that red or black. I haven't really decided. So leave it in the comments down below if you want it red or black. And um, we'll go from there. I'm not too sure what color I want. But for sure it's red or black. Because it seems like my whole car is going red and black. Alright guys, well I did the oil and it was really easy. But I didn't do a video on it because I'm sure half of you already know how to. You remove that bolt over there, the golden one. Which is to the oil pan, drop all the oil, put the new filter, which is in a weird freaking spot on this car, is right here. And you put five and three fourths quarts in this car, the Pathfinder, and it's good to go. Now I'm actually gonna paint my cooling panel. I'm at my friend's house because I can't do it at my house. And let's see how it looks. Let me put this rag over here out of the way.
All right, guys. Um, I'm currently getting my intake off and um, to get it painted or whatever to clean up the engine bay. But I'm also restoring my car, the Miata. And my buddy Ben actually hooked me up. He sent me speaker covers, and I've wanted a pair of these for the longest time. And these look like they need new of these little clips, but whatever, it doesn't matter. But um, he hooked me up with these speaker covers, and um. On eBay, just the speaker covers alone, one side is thirty dollars. He gave me both for twenty bucks, so that was cool. Him. Oh man, they got crushed in the packaging. Probably. Yep. Here's the little pieces. The mail fucked them up. He actually sent me good ones, but. There we go. All right, so I'm just gonna take a picture of how it looks. There we go. That way I have like a reference so I can put it back together the way it is. But um, also what I could do is just take one piece at a time. And I was, wasn't really thinking about this till now. But I could take one piece at a time. I can take this one off. There we go. And as you can see the piping, piping sucks but it works. There we go. This one goes like this. So I could paint this one first and stick it back together and then do that with each individual one. And um, I guess I'll start cleaning it. Man, this thing's crappy. Whoever made this thing, you're so retarded, bro. I don't know why the hell you would do this. Should have kept the stock intake. But um, what I'm going to do just to clean it is I'm just going to wipe it down with a moist rag and then dry it. And that should be good. I don't really have anything to remove all these things thick stains and I don't really care I'm not going for show quality at the same time I'm just making it look a little bit better so let me clean this up and get it ready for paint alright guys as you can see it's done and it came out better than I expected um, this silicone coating actually dries really freaking quick and it came out pretty mint I like it it looks better than before and the pictures did really help because I got confused like putting it back together but I looked at the picture and I kind of Gave it the same shape, we'll find out in a little bit when I go outside and try to put it on. But it came out pretty mint, it looks pretty good. It looks a lot better than before, that's for sure, with all the, like, scratches and stuff. Which you can still see, but it's not as bad when it's black. You can't really give it detail, so, um, yeah, let's go put this. Alright guys, um, as you can see, it, it looks pretty freaking nice. The engine bay looks a hundred times better, honestly. And it just gave me an idea. I decided to finally go with red and black for my uh my car engine bay and everything i'm gonna go with two colors red and black and it goes with the outside as well because i have that red um rising sun sticker that came with the car by the way and um the red tow hook the pinkish engine damper it was supposed to be red but it came out like pinkish and then the silicone hoses so it's starting to look really freaking nice and i like it i might not want to get rid of it anymore it looks really clean now I hated it before. I was tempted to actually paint the radiator black. Not the actual radiator, but the top part. Just this part. Just this part. Not the... I'm not stupid enough to paint the... The... What's it called? The little grooves or whatever. Because I know air is supposed to get in there. But I kind of wanted to paint this black. But I'm just going to keep it like that for now. Unless I change my mind. But I love it so far. It looks really, really clean. I didn't think it was going to look this freaking nice. And again, this stuff dries like instantly. I like it. I don't even have to wait for it to dry. The instructions do say you have to bake it on, but I mean, it's so close to the radiator and it's so close to the header, it's gonna dry just by driving it. As long as I don't touch it, which I probably won't because there's no need for me to touch it. And it was so easy to put it on. It actually fit better than before. <laughs> Surprisingly, I, I got it to fit a lot better. Like it doesn't touch anything anymore. I just gotta put on the filter and next is um the next thing i'm gonna do to the engine bay this is part one i'm gonna do a part two cleaning it up i might do an engine tuck or i'm gonna start doing an engine tuck and hide all these cables and wires or whatever under the engine or under the little uh like behind the coolant reservoir and like in the little grooves i might start tucking them in but um this is part one for the next part i'm actually gonna color my valve cover so down in the description let me know what color you think is gonna look good with my engine bay I'm thinking maybe red, but black would also look pretty clean. So let me know in the comments down below if you want to see this valve cover red or black. 
those are my two choices. I'm not going to choose any other color. I want to keep it red or black. So um, let me know what you think down below. And the one with the most comments is the color it's going to get. So if more people say red, it's going to be red. If more people say black, it's going to be black. So put in the comments down below. And whichever, I guess, whichever comments get the most red or black, I'm going to paint it that color for you guys. So it's your decision for this. So um, yeah, guys.